Welcome back, Caspa family. Appreciate you guys for sticking around and showing tremendous amount of love. Continue supporting and you will see a continuation of these updates as you guys know. So looking across the board going into Tuesday morning, um, I'm sure if you do watch some of my other updates, of course, if it's not just Caspa ones, I'd make several updates. Um, we are seeing tremendous amount of green across the board. It's just a crazy time to be alive if you are a crypto holder, I'm sure you know. But during these times, you know, we can get our, um, you know, I'm sorry, we can let our emotions get the best of us. But just a continuous reminder to each and every one of you guys who's printing right now, you don't want to get the emotions, uh, I'm sorry, you won't. You don't want to let your emotions get the best of you. I can't talk right now because I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, you know, have some exit strategies in place as always and lock those profits in when you see them. But if we're looking across the board, you know, I know uh, people are going to start getting frustrated with Casper's performance once again down about 5.6%. But if we're looking at it on the weekly time frame, we do need to kind of uh, settle down because, you know, Casper is up 36.6%. So I still want to give it, uh, you know, the praise it deserves. So it is pretty much balanced. Uh, according to the broader market, despite uh, seeing a little bit of a retracement on the daily time frame, even though we are seeing tremendous amount of green right now across the board. But let's take a closer look and see what is happening. Before I do that, though, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So the price is currently sitting at 14.5 cents, down about 5.7% in USD and down about 13.9% in Bitcoin comparative. So it's down quite substantially in Bitcoin comparative, but shouldn't really be a surprise because Bitcoin cracked out towards a new all-time high. And of course, dominance is much higher uh, than over the course of the last, I would say, 48 hours, uh, which of course kind of explains as to why, you know, we are seeing Casper down so much in Bitcoin comparative. Um, market cap about 3.6 billion in the 24-hour trading volume, still quite high for a project like Casper at 200 million. But I've been reading the comments and I engage with the crypto community, of course. Um, and I am well aware as to what kind of discussions you know, the Casper community is having right now. Uh, we saw two SPL tokens, and when I say SPL tokens, two meme coins recently uh, based off of the Solana ecosystem get listed on none other than Binance. And they got listed on Binance, and this has got a lot of people talking, not just within the Casper community, but with other projects that are not listed on um, you know, Binance. Like, you know, what's going on? Why are these projects that are, have, you know, a potential big use case not being listed on, uh, you know, uh, the likes of some of these big exchanges. And again, I don't know when we're going to get an answer to that, which, uh, again, a lot of people are wondering. Uh, but, you know, here we are. What can we do? You know, we need to accept that fact. Uh, but if you're looking at, but, you know, the Grayscale Trust, I spoke to you guys about this before in the update. But I think the Grayscale uh, potential, of course, it's a potential trust because look what happened to Sui's price. Sui, um, you know, a competitor to Caspa actually, you know, has gone absolutely mad over the course of the last few months, especially two months to be specific. Um, and, you know, that's after the Grayscale Trust announcement. So are we going to see uh, or people relying on a Grayscale uh, Caspa Trust uh, for, you know, Caspa to start thriving? Potentially. Now, we can't write that off based off of what we have seen Sui do. But anyhow, uh, looking at, you know, the Bitcoin, uh, you know, dominance, you know, Bitcoin dominance has shot up, uh, you know, to the likes of 60.2% a few hours ago, but has seen a little bit of a downside since then, which has given a lot of altcoins even more of a push to push uh, towards higher levels. Uh, BTC, just a few hours ago, did touch $90,000, you know, a historic day for BTC, of course, give yourself a pat on the back, uh, you know, to the people that have been here uh, over the course of the last few months. But, um, you know, if you're looking at Casper right now, of course, it's not in the 78.6. And again, confirmation, I speak about confirmation on a day to day basis when I talk about, you know, any uh, videos and the confirmation that I was waiting for for Caspa, where I think, you know, the price was in the exciting zone is, you know, the 78.6 FIB zone. And here we are, we literally re got rejected two different times. So of course, you know, that initial wick up to that 16.28 cents. But after that, two different rejections at the 78.6. This gives us the confirmation how important this level really is. It's not just random level that I'm talking about where, you know, the price of Casper will start looking exciting. Um, you know, it is a significant, um, you know, resistance for the price of Casper. You know, we are being supported by some major support levels for Casper uh, right now. Uh, but, you know, people are going to come out and say, uh, Crypto ZX, do you think we're seeing a lag right now? Uh, of course, you know, if you're looking across the board over the last 24 hours, you know, Caspa is one of the very few coins down, but I still don't think you know, this is a lag. Reason why 
because it's up 37.1% over the course of the last five days. And that is uh, something I will still continue to, uh, you know, give a Casper credit for. The fact that, you know, it was able to make its way back to 78.6. Of course, you know, the major level where you want to have your eyes on is exactly around the 17.3 cents. This is where we originally, this is where I originally started talking about that, you know, we're starting to see a weakness of for Casper. It got rejected months and months out, pretty much two months in a row at this key uh, key resistance. And of course, if we're able to climb and, you know, turn that into support, which we're starting to see a lot of coins do, I think we can actually start seeing even all-time highs for Casper, believe it or not. Uh, But... Um, those are some factors we need to obviously consider uh, until then. Uh, um, so, you know, keep an eye out on those levels. So far, so good. I'm going to be quite frank with you. Not as bearish as what we have seen in the past. So credit goes where it is deserved. Uh, but, you know, in terms of complete excitement, those are some levels that I have highlighted. And that's where I personally think Casper needs to be before we can get, um, you know, jumping around. But let me know down below what you guys think. Love each and every one of you guys. Let me know your thoughts on Caspa. we we'll, uh, obviously love to know what you people think. Uh, and yes, stay safe out there. We'll uh, see you tomorrow with CryptoZX and peace out.